Hello, hello, my adorable squidlings. It is Katie here, and welcome back to another speed paint. Now, you may notice that this is a really old speed paint, and actually, it's something I did last year, and I've had this on back stock for a while, and I'm, I'm not even going to lie. I am just kind of too meh to make a new painting right now. I am working on Gemini. She was supposed to be out today. Expect her Friday. I'm super sorry. I just kind of got behind. So, uh, in today's video, I wanted to just kind of talk about things I've learned while using gouache, and that's actually the medium I'm using in this painting as well, so I thought it would be kind of fitting. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just talk about the things I've learned so far about gouache, and hope maybe your experiences are different. If they are, leave a comment down below, and we can chat about it. So, the first thing I noticed about gouache is even though it does have properties of, you know, watercolor and acrylic, like uh, on the watercolor side, it has the fact that it can be re-wet and the fact that uh, it does flow in water and stuff. Uh, and then the acrylic, it has like opacity and stuff. Um, I learned that it is best layered or blended like oils. And what that means is dark to light. So you're going to want to start with your darker colors and work into your lighter colors Again, that's just how I've learned it. I tried doing it the other way and I always find that my colors end up too muddy and I have to make too many layers and it just gets really frustrating for me. So I found best that I work dark to light and uh, it works for me. Another thing that I've learned is layering up using less water than the previous layer. Um, so when you first start your base layer, you want to use a lot of water, make really thin washes just so you can kind of get your base colors down. And then as you work up, use less water just because gouache does tend to reactivate and you don't want your previous layers getting uh, reactivated <laughs> and kind of muddying up your current painting. Also, if you do it too thickly though, it will crack. So there's like a very fine balance on how thick or thin you want your paint to go, so it's best to test it and kind of play with gouache before you uh, go into a final painting and paint a little too thick. It does not like to flow together like watercolor. You know how you see all those videos where people are like drawing galaxies and stuff with uh, watercolors and it blends together super well? Yeah. For me, I found that gouache does not like to be blended like that. It just likes to sit. Like you put it in and it goes bleh. Uh, and it just doesn't do anything. Um, that's not to say that you cannot make a galaxy with gouache. It's just a little harder and you have to work at it a little more um, than you would with watercolor, just kind of like letting it blend on its own. But um, I did do this in this painting and its sister painting, but um, I regretted it a lot. <laughs> Another thing I learned is that acrylic gouache and regular gouache are very different. Uh, you may know, like, oh, hey, they have different names. You'd think they're very different. Well, some people actually don't know they're very different. Acrylic gouache is basically permanent gouache. It is more like acrylic in that you cannot re-wet it, and once you put it down, it's down. It's not going anywhere. Acrylic gouache is actually very easily layered as well because your previous layers don't have the uh, potential to get up again, get re-wet. So they're better for layering than regular gouaches. However, you can still layer with regular gouache. It's just a little easier with acrylic gouache. Whereas regular gouache tends to be able to be reactivated. Another thing I learned is that you go through white really, really quickly. Um, with watercolor, um, you use, you know, more water to get lighter colors, but with gouache, you want to use white to get lighter colors. And so I find that I go through white like crazy. <laughs> And the last thing I want to talk about is gouache is super duper easy to photograph. Um, it's just great. It's absolutely fantastic for when you want to take photos of it because it has a really nice matte finish. So you don't have to worry about any outside lighting affecting like the glare or whatever. Um, I just think it's really beautiful because of the velvety matte finish. And it's one of my favorite parts about gouache um, is the matte finish because... I don't know, it's just really pretty and it gives it all a uniform look and it makes me super happy. So, yeah, uh, but that is it. Not completely it, but that is it for this video that I want to talk about. Um, I hope you enjoyed the speed painting. Again, I know it's really old, like there's no white background. Uh, the art is just kind of old, but I had fun at, with painting this when I did paint it. Um, and I hope you enjoyed watching the speed paint as well. Um, we're going to be looking at the final piece in just a second after I touch up the background a little bit. But um, yeah, again, this art is super old, so please don't criticize it because it's not my current work. So 
yeah. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to be a part of our cute little squid pod. And until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!